In today's episode, guys, we are finally going to take the leap across to Sicily and reclaim the kingdom of Sicily that Pyrrhus once had. Is it going to be successful? Are we going to get killed on the way? I don't know. Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are continuing our Epirus campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum. So yes, and today is a very, very exciting day because we are finally leaving the shores of Greece and going somewhere further afield. I am very, very much looking forward to doing that indeed but first of all we do have a couple of battles to do we're just going to auto resolve this at sir dicker uh, shouldn't be many men that we lose there fantastic glorious and i think we will actually i mean sir dicker was ours for a little bit but i think we are just going to enslave there for now um i believe we are are we not training some men somewhere else uh, I thought we were. Were we not training, like, garrison troops here? Where was it? It was here. Yeah, we are there. But where do we go next with this army? Um, honestly, I think we probably go up this way. I'm also I'm genuinely thinking about just squaring off Thrace, guys. Just taking this whole region just so that we take here. The only problem with that is then we will border the Seleucid still and they will keep on continuing to attack so i do still like the idea of taking marinea here but honestly the seleucids have this so if we do beat back the adrissians then yeah we are still going to be bordering them so we'll still be at war with them so i think it's just going to be a never-ending war against them honestly but that's not a problem this army is very very experienced which is nice um, let's get rid of that yeah it was definitely in our hands because that is a temple of dionysus which is actually, no, Thracian. So I guess it wasn't in our hands. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, nothing we can really build here for happiness. Let's just build that trader then. But what do we want to leave behind here? That's the problem. All of these units are so experienced that there's not really any point in leaving any of them behind. They can't reach. This general Artesion is here. Um, but yeah, we're also... I think we're ready to get the Thracian army together. We've got some Hippocontistae. We've got some uh, Lancers. So, yeah, I think this army is ready to go. But first of all, though, let's just check for garrisons. We could get a mercenary. Uh, how much are they? 2,900. It's quite a lot. It's quite a lot. We don't have that money right now. We could cancel a building, though. Don't really want to cancel the Great Agora there. Let's cancel something else. Is there anything like like this, for example? Oh, no, that's not even going to be worth it. But anything in here like that, that will be fine. Then let's get a mercenary, one of these boys. What is there? 495. It's not bad. 448 for the Thracian Peltas, though. They will likely get bribed. I'm not going to lie, guys. <laughs> it's a very likely situation for them to get bribed. I'm kind of wanting to kind of square off the borders up here, though. If we can uh, come and take these three settlements, that'll be good against um, Pontic Pentapolis. Although, it is quite a nice border here with the mountains. Also, looking at our border with the Scordisci, it's all along the river, apart from this northern one, which is actually very good for us, too. Yes. Um, so either we go this way, back down this way, to Tilateopolis, <laughs> Tilabulaboop, or we go up north towards these settlements. I mean, are they rich? No. Their farming is terrible, but so are the settlements over here. No settlement over here is really rich apart from Besapara. So, do we then go for Besapara? It'd be easier to hold on to Besapara because it is, you know, our... Uh, it was our settlement for quite some time. So, yeah. I mean, we've got a Thracian army ready to go. They can actually go up north. That'll be fine. So let's go straight for Besapara then. That shouldn't be a problem. The Idrissians have just been quite annoying, haven't they, really? That's the that's the takeaway from the Idrissians. But then let's move on to this battle then, guys, against Captain Zeuxis and Zoilos over here, who does... Have some elephants and some cataphracts. Ooh. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> and when I say interesting, that's um, pretty terrible. 
This army has Hetairoi too. Let's have a look at this proper. So yeah, they don't... It isn't the greatest army ever, and it's quite damaged in the first half. But with cataphracts and Elephants, it's not going to be too fun to fight, is it, my friends? So um, we should still win, but it might be quite a difficult one. We'll have to use our Javelins sparingly so we can fire them at the Elephants. But anyway, guys, let's get into the battle. Well, this is actually a fantastic, fantastic battle map for us. Um, because it's nice and flat. No uh, trees, anything like that. So we are just going to march slowly up to meet them. Don't think we need to run. So we're just going to take this slow, guys. We're not going to rush into it. Um, so that we can, you know, do things right here, I think, is the best thing. Uh, make sure that we are taking out the elephants and the hippocontistae. Here they come. The big boys of the Seleucid army are here. The chads, the tanks. It, it makes me sad to be uh, fighting these guys because I love them so much. I really do. The cataphracts. Oh, absolutely glorious units. Absolutely glorious. And they've got late bodyguards now as well. And look how good they are. Oh, <laughs> makes me want to play Seleucids, guys. <laughs> Well, here we go, guys. Looks like we're going to be engaged in combat quite soon. I don't get why this Thurio Foroi is deciding to do this, because we are just going to absolutely pummel it if it comes any further around our flank. So, yeah, I don't know what they're doing as well. It looks like they're going backwards with their uh, army here, which is very strange. But I'm hoping that Hetairoi will engage us. Let's see. Looks like they're going to, and it looks like they're just going to walk. Oh, no, they, 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 they did charge in the end. Not very well, though. As I say, I'm going to keep these guys on guard mode for now because I want them to hold their formation. We're not going to charge the Crisis Speeders, obviously. They've got Agent Slingers, too. So, yeah, should be fine. Pretty much killing that Heteroi pretty easily. Don't think they'll get many Javelins off here. Let's see. No, they're going for the charge instead. Good for us. Fantastic. And let's just hold them. Crisis Speeders are going around the line. That's them running away. Glorious. Glorious. Like I say, we're going to take this nice and slow. Don't need to do anything drastic. Well, we sent our cavalry forward to deal with some of their archers and the like. But we have been engaged now by the Thracian Light Lancers. And we're absolutely destroying them, as we should do. Let's charge through that Thurio 4 o 2 Should not be an issue for us. There's actually two units here. There's two units. A Thorakitai and a Thurio 4 o But surely they're going to get absolutely ruined here. What else is that? Hippocontistae and Greek Slingers. Yeah, should not be a problem here. Um, for some reason, they're going like really far around the flanks. So that's interesting. Well, what we're going to do, though, is get these guys up here to face the elephants and see if we can get them there in time. That'll be glorious. Get rid of whatever this is. That's just Macedonian Hoplites. Asian Light Spearmen 2 should not be an issue. And let's see if we can run straight into those boys as well. Uh, nope, they are not uh, enjoying that. That's fine. Guys, guys, guys. Now fire. Oh my god. Oh my god. I was too busy looking. No, no, no. Fire, 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 fire. Fire. Fire, men. Fire. Oh my god. Not what we wanted or needed. Not what we wanted or needed. Fire, guys. Hopefully the javelins are enough. Oh my god. The javelins are destroying them. They're, well, they are destroying our line though as well. Fire, guys. Fire. Come on. <laughs> Make them go mad. Please. Please, please, here comes their general's bodyguard. We're going to have to get the Thurio Foroi. Oh, my God. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. That's their elephant's dead, though. So what I'm thinking is we all do this and we all just move backwards. We need our we need our general back over here. The cataphracts have engaged. You guys come back. And, yeah, unfortunately, we took some losses from the elephants there. But we have got rid of them now. So that is good. Thurio Foroi, you can go and chill. That's no problem. Cavalry is going to come and hopefully rescue the day against the cataphracts. You guys come back here too. Um, yeah, where are we up to then? Where are we up to? Right, all of you boys are actually decent now. So let's come back over here. Looks like we got rid of the cataphracts. So let's not uh, waste any more men on this mess. And let's reform ourselves. You guys are there. We'll just put you behind for now. Um, these guys should be running. Why are you walking, bro? Why are you walking? Come on, guys. Why are you all walking, bro? Go, go, go. 
Jesus Christ, man. Go. Go. Why are you walking, bro? <laughs> right. Hoplite uh, 304 way. Let's get back. Let's get out of here. We're going to take some damage as well. Uh, but yeah, that was a mess. Why is everyone walking? Brother, come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Jesus Christ. Go, 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 go. We're also going to put you on fire at will. Um, but there we go. Those guys have broken. Ah, there's another unit. What's that? The Hetai, right? So let's uh, let's get into them then, if we can. We're going to put everyone down on phalanx mode now. Get on the phalanx mode. Should be good. Fantastic. Well, we don't need to charge these boys anymore. Chill out for a second. Well, okay. Chaos averted for a second there, guys. Chaos averted. So let's march forward again now. They are very strange. I do hate the AI sometimes. Well, quite a lot of the time, actually. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, What are these Greek hoplites doing? Like, why? Like, just isolating themselves and going mental? Like, that's not good for anyone. <laughs> that's... <laughs> It's annoying for us to deal with, and it's terrible for their enemy. Like, they seem to want to be chasing down the enemy. So, um, what do we have here? Hippocontisti will turn to face them. No problem. And, uh, yeah, you guys let's keep on marching forward then. Like, what is the AI doing with their crisis speeders and everything over here, too? Very strange. Oh, here comes the Greek hoplites. Let's go and see if we can engage them. You guys get your phalanx down. There we go, Cav. Should be a nice charge. Oh, straight in the side of them. Shaken, wavering, broken. Nice. Kill them all then. Kill them all. Glorious. How are we doing here then? We're doing very well. Very strange again. Very strange. What are these crisis speeders doing? They, they, like, ideally for them, the best thing they can do is like engage us with their crisis speeders and then try and get advantage otherwise. So I don't really know what they are doing. Uh, but... The AI works in mysterious ways, my friends, doesn't it? <laughs> Looks like they're withdrawing now, though. So let's get after them. And uh, let's try and engage some of these boys. Let's get running after them. So we can engage them. That'd be glorious. And we'll try and surround them. So come on, Cav. We are going to use you properly to chase down these enemies. What is that? That is a 304, right? There we go. Right, you guys get there. Get there, get there. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Get forward, get forward. You guys get in, in phalanx, attack them. You guys get in phalanx too and attack them. We'll take you off guard mode too. Take you off guard mode for your attack. You should be good with that. And then let's get you guys on guard mode, on phalanx mode. You guys attack them. And you guys attack these boys. So, okay, that's gone quite well. Oh, looks like uh, they are wanting to attack over here. So let's take you off guard mode. Let's also get you guys there. Come on, guys. You're so slow. Come on, bro. <laughs> so unbelievably slow. Right. There we go. Into phalanx mode now. Take guard mode off. Start attacking them. Ah, this is what happens when guard mode's off, though. Look at that. Facing completely the wrong way. Um, right then. You guys. Oh, we should be shredding these crisis speeders here, then. You guys off guard mode. Attack them. You guys around here, please. That would be awesome. You guys... Get guard go mode back on and see what happens. Because <laughs> that is terrible, terrible, terrible scenes. Right, where is the cavalry? Where is the cavalry? They're all over here. Cool. Well, we just need them to chase down some men. That's fine. You guys now. Now go and attack them. No guard mode on. Should be a nice, easy victory here. You guys are facing the wrong way, bro. You're facing the wrong goddamn way. Go off guard mode. Now attack them. Oh, it's the wrong way, bro. There we go. That's better. That has, has instantly broken them as soon as we did that too. So how are we doing here? Their crisis speeders don't even have phalanx on anymore. You guys are off guard mode. You've got to attack, boys. You've got to attack, boys. You've got to attack. Oh, glorious. Well, we've absolutely shredded them, haven't we, my friends? Fantastic. Well, that was a glorious victory. The elephants did present a bit of a problem to start with, but we absolutely destroyed them in the end, didn't we, guys? Very good. Very nice indeed. Let's go. Well, let's go straight on to Maranea then, my friends. Straight on with that. Oh, my God. Look at this. This is all of the remnants of that army, which is good for us. Um, let's keep on going then. Uh, Thessalonica. I really would like somewhere along here where we can train troops. 
So I'm thinking about building a recruitment hub, potentially at, at Amphipolis, so we can train some uh, garrison troops. Once we've taken Marinea, though, we are definitely going to um, try to sell it to the GCS. I know we said we might not do that um, and take Thrace, but for now, I think we want to focus on the Adrissians as the main target in the north. Let's go and just take out the Adrissians. And then we're not worrying about fighting these constant full stacks from the Seleucids for now anyway. And then we can worry about that later and we can go and help Pontic Pentapolis. I do feel like Pontic Pentapolis will attack us as soon as we border them. But oh well, what can you do about the AI on very hard, huh? So uh, let's end the turn there, guys. And the Adrissians are offering us a ceasefire. Um... Look at our reputation. <laughs> it's not good. Uh, no, I'm... Honestly, don't really care for that. I don't think that that's going to be good for us. So let's uh, decline I that for now. And Nossos wants a ceasefire. Well, that's a definite no. <laughs> and we have another one. 22 years of age. He's indifferent and balanced. Slow, charismatic, but spineless. Um... So slow isn't good, so uh, let's ignore that. We've also got two people coming of age too. Antiochus over here, which is glorious. He's got two management too. We do need another general for our army, so let's see. Is he good as a general? Bright, magnetic, and vigorous, which is fantastic. He's green. He is flexible, so he's not good for law. He's lily-livered, so yeah, definitely not the general we want. But he's not great at management either. Impoverished family. He's covetous. He is a learning trader, though, but he's useless assessor. So he's he's a man of very different uh, different uh, different tastes and uh, different uh, strengths. Now let's have a look at over, over here. Megara does have a general. Corinth is going to have a general. Where is that guy? He was on the way to Corinth. Someone was, and I cannot see him. Oh, he's here. So he is going to Corinth. He is going to gar garrison there. We're going to get rid of this. Don't need to be spending money on that for no reason. So let's see. Where do we want to govern then? Githion is quite rich. So I think we'll go for Githion for you. Get you in there. We'll also get rid of these 304 then. That's fine. Had another guy come of age. So Olypius over here. Doesn't look like he's great. Slow, charismatic, and spiritless. Again, not good. Not really good. Inferior engineer and an unwilling scientist. He's just pretty terrible in general. We could mold him into being a good general, but no, I don't think he's going to be. In fact, we'll probably leave him around here because we've got a lot of old guys around here. Like this guy, Admantos the Liar, is terrible. Look at this. He's an embezzler, pathological liar. He is an agriculturalist, confident in defense, understanding of logistics, severe, corrupt. Oh my god. This guy is is awful. Is awful. Covetous, uh, greedy, unwilling humanist, useless assessor. <laughs> Straight. One of the worst people we've ever seen in this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, dearie me. Uh, people in flight. The Sarka are actually hoarded right now. That's not not scary at all, but it's a long way for them to get here, so okay. <laughs> right, Stoby now has the Hippodrome, so that does mean we can start getting some Thracian Noble Cavalry, so let's go with that. What do we want to build in Stoby then? Um, let's go for the Blacksmith. Um, and yeah, that, that'll be fantastic. Well, I think though now... We should have enough troops. We're waiting one more turn, aren't we? And then the Thracian army shall be moving. Glorious house, Sir Dicka. Not too happy. Let's go for uh, Bessapara then. That's glorious. Pretty damaged army, I've got to say. It's also, could we auto-resolve this without too many losses? 96. Absolutely fine. Right, let's um, occupy Marinea. Although, yeah, we do want to sell it to the GCS. I don't mind selling it to the GCS with some buildings in because that's okay. Um, we'll leave these guys in here for now as sort of garrisons. We'll also build the Shrine to Aphrodite. You guys, where were you going? You were going after Bessapara, so let's go for Diopolis instead. Again, just ladders, that should be fine. 
Um, right then, let's uh, get our boats. Oh, come on, GCS. Really? Really? Well, that's only a single boat. Let's just get the men off, though, just in case. <laughs> and uh, attack that. Yeah. <laughs> what was that, bro? Right, let's see how far we can move now. <sighs> Can't even move up to there. Well, I think we've got to go... We've got to jump across. We've got to go docks there. We could, in fact, instead of going Sicily, just go this way and then resend someone across to Sicily. Potentially this army here. How many turns? Two turns left until you can attack. These guys cannot attack, and it's got six turns. So I think we're just going to starve that out. No point in taking that siege battle. It's fine. Well, in fact, we could, in fact, just auto-resolve this, because like I said, this army is going to get retrained straight away so that it can go across. Right then, let's uh, enslave Cesarathos. Now let's uh, get out of it, and let's see. Will the GCS listen to us? So if we go ceasefire, we will give you Cesarathos and Marinea. We've got a lot of settlements, so I don't know. Will they be at the bottom? Uh, yeah, Cesarathos and Marinea. It's still very demanding. We'll give you trade rights. Um, I will give you like, what, third, like 20? Let's try 20,000. Will that be enough? I don't mind spending this money. No. Surely. You just really? Well, okay, GCS. I mean, you've just signed your death warrant. That's fine. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to save Marinea then. No problem with that. Um, let's just carry on killing the GCS then. That's that's fine. Let's go for that. Glorious. Good. Right. Anything that we can use here. Actually, we've got 17 men that can go in there. Good. Not a happy place, I've got to say. Um, <laughs> but hopefully we'll be okay next time. This guy is wealthy now, Abreas. And Baroya has expanded. Ooh, unfortunately got that building in there. So we're going to have to replace that. Well, our GCS plan does not work. But that's okay. There's, the GCS don't border us anywhere else. So we've kind of wiped them out. There is this island, Tharsos, which we could uh, invade. But yeah, not too worried. I think Marinea, though, we will chill here and just try and invite the Seleucids to attack us and see how many times we can defend it successfully. Right then, Polyrenia, let's uh, auto-resolve that. That shouldn't be a problem. Let's um, enslave Polyrenia too. Oh, we, we, we apparently we've reached victory conditions. Well, glorious. Nice. But of course, we are going to continue playing. <laughs> Didn't even realize we would get to that. Um, right, let's leave the Athamanians in there. How are they feeling about that? They're actually feeling fine about that. That's not bad at all. And these cities are rather good. Rather good cities. Going to build a lot of trade here when it comes round to it. So let's go for the shrine to Dionysus, though, while we're here. Let's go straight on to Kaidonia. They do have a big army there, but that's not a problem at all. In fact, no. Screw the temple. Let's build uh, the recruitment one. How many turns is that? It's five turns. Just so we can build some more, like, uh, garrison troops on here. Um, and we are getting more garrisons over this way. Do we have a fleet over here, though? We do. So let's get the fleet there, because we've got people in Thermon 2 that will be coming. Why have we got two units in here? Can we afford just one? Not quite, unfortunately. Well, that's okay. Um, right then, let's see. Is this army ready to go? No, we need one more Thessalian. Let's train then. We've not trained for a little while. One more Thessalian. Let's go for two more Thessalians, in fact. Oh, no, we're getting another Thessalian there. So this one's just out of sync. So we'll wait for it to get back in sync with all the rest. Okay, glorious. We're nearly ready to get Elephants too, which is insanely good. We'll also get that back, one back in sync too next turn. Um, Right then. You are waiting one more turn. You guys are on Diop Diopolis. You guys are Bessapara. Idarva's not... Oh, God. Idarva's quite unhappy, I've got to say. Um, We'll have to stick that unit in there. Also, wasn't Damastion able to train? No. But let's see. Can we leave Damastion? We can. Perfect. Well, you go into Idarva. Made it 47%. Which is not ideal, but it's... <laughs> Uh, it's better than what it was, definitely. Um, and then we've got that army there. We've got one army on the 
boats over here and we've got another army training so let's end the turn there no let's do our building we've actually not built so the donor let's have a look what can we build at the donor not much really i think we go for the grain imports for that extra growth very expensive but probably worth it in the long run fair eye one of our recruitment hubs over here let's try and get these upgraded and growing because of course remember guys we want to get the good troops don't we um, then what about Falana? That one isn't a recruitment hub. So let's go for, I mean, highways would be good, but yeah, it's expensive as hell. Nothing really that useful here. Just get a little bit of extra happiness. Acanthos over here. Again, this is a very rich settlement. It's pretty much going to upgrade very soon. So let's just pop that in there. Demale over this way. Huh. Isn't that one of the new ones we've taken? Um, look, they look plenty happy enough, honestly. So probably not worth anything here. Grain imports, that'll be okay. Lycnidos, where are you? Probably the grain imports too. Getting some growth. Imbros, just perpetually unhappy. Let's go for that so we can start uh, converting it to our culture so they will eventually become happy. Heraclea Lincestis. The big grain imports could go for that. Probably worth it in the long run. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Sirius 2, could we go for that? I mean, it's got 2% growth. It's not really worth it. Cassandrea over here. Again, nothing really worth it. Let's get the execution square just in case we ever get any law problems there. Heraclea Sintike. Let's go for just the, that shrine. Should be nice and easy. Damastion all the way in the north. Hmm. The Mastion's quite a good settlement, but they do occasionally get bad unrest, so let's get the Odeon. Now, Pactos down here. Again, probably Execution Square. Sophis, let's go for the Agora. Good. I am Farina over this way. Hmm. Let's just go for the Odeon. Make sure all these places... No, in fact, let's go for the Grove, because they're not growing too much. Elatea, not really worth anything. Dimer 2, probably not worth building anything here. Um, Aegeon, let's have a look. I mean, we can't afford that. That's fine. Leprion, let's go for the Agora. Fantastic. Megalopolis, nothing we can build there. And yeah, looking looking like we're all right then. So let's, uh, let's end the turn there, guys. And hopefully next turn we'll have two more armies ready to go. With that in mind, let's send across these guys. And let's also send across these guys. We need a general still. So we're going to have to find one or maybe get an uh, adoption or something. Because, yeah, we, we need a general. This guy's got seven management. That's actually awesome. Really nice. Right, let's uh, end the turn there, guys. Oh, and the Egyptians have died, guys. That is a sad, sad sight to see, honestly. Because I love the Egyptians. I love the Egyptian revolt. I think it's so cool. Uh, but, yeah, sad sight to see. Um, Nossos has decided to besiege us down here, but we're just going to like slowly move along the island and just manage the borders. 120 deaths from that. Again, we're going to enslave. Um, I think we'll leave the Thurio Fulroy behind here, and we're going to go on to that. I think we still got enough to beat this army, so I'm not too worried about it in general. Uh, but yeah, this area is going to make us so rich because... The amount of ports that we are going to get here um, is going to be insane. I think we're also going to get a recruitment hub in there because it's got the third level barracks. Um, and also, we want to make this into our missile range. Because if we have a look here, uh, is that the third tier? I wonder what tier we get the Cretan archers at. It is the third tier. But we do get Cretan slingers, which are armor piercing, guys, which is insane. So, seven missile attack that's armor piercing. We also get access in the third tier to the Cretan Archers, which are very, very, very good. Long range. They're not armor piercing, but 10 missile attack. So, yeah, we want to get those units ASAP in our armies. That'll be awesome. That'll be really, really good. So, um, yeah, fantastic. Now we've got to decide. We need a general. So, let's have a look around. These guys are all too old. We need a young fella. So we did just put someone in Corinth. He's 31. 
What about you? You're 18, but you are a good manager. You're 25, but you've got two things. And you've got a Chirurgion. A Chirurgion? He's uncharismatic, but he is vigorous. Well supplied. He's a learning bureaucrat. He is hardened as well. Um, and a useless assessor. So, yeah, I think the best option is to use you, my friend. Uh, I did delete some of these garrisons, didn't I? In fact, no, we've got a garrison here. So you get in there, Athens. Although, I probably should have done that the other way around. Although, Orchomenos is incredibly rich, but so is Athens. So, next general we get is going to go into Athens as a governor. So, let's get our army together. Where are we going to send this army, though? Hopefully across the sea. Let's, um... Can we get our men? Our men can't actually leave this port, so we're going to have to risk this. Okay. Okay. So the best risk ever. I didn't I didn't enjoy taking that risk. <laughs> but let's ferry across. Oh my god, are you joking me? Why why can we not move? Come on. Really guys? Really? And we can't Okay. Right, that blocked us, but okay, we've got to be very careful with our ships here because that was a full army on there. <laughs> that was not good. Uh, we were waiting for an extra troop, but uh, I've forgotten about it. I think it was a 304, right? But let's get to Uzentum. And uh, we have invaded Italy, my friends. <laughs> How glorious a sight to see. Right, we had a bit of um, unhappiness. When I say a bit, quite a lot of unhappiness. So let's uh, auto-resolve that one. Let's enslave these boys. Um, right then. Did we get another archer anywhere? Don't think so. Yeah, the Deuteroy being the governors in there is not good. Hmm... So, yeah, let's also retrain these ships while we're here. And um, we could, in fact, get some more ships. So let's uh, let's do that in a few of these cities. Let's get a few decent ships. Um, just to expand that navy somewhat. That would be good. Could even get a ship there. Don't think it's worth it. I'm willing to just chill here for a little bit. Just to, to sort our public order out. Um, and wait for some reinforcements to come that can uh, can do the garrisoning for us. This has actually been upgraded quite a bit, Epidamnos. So that's fantastic for us. Let's go for the shrine to Dionysus. Um, and then we've so we've secured this little area. We need to still take Antipatria and uh, Amantia Olympe, but that's okay. Settlement besieged by Nosos. Yeah, we know that. We've got this one by the Adrisians. Yep, that's fine. GCS there. We've got another city expanding, which is Ayana. Fantastic. Let's go for that. So actually on 0% now growth. So good timing for us. Um, right then. Cool. Fantastic. Really good. Right. We've got one army together. So we've got you. Let's get the army then. I do want archers in this army. So we'll go for two Athamanians, two archers. I think that will be fine. Let's go for these boys, if possible. Let's also go for them. It's amazing how much more they can move now with their actual uh, roads and stuff. That's an extra archer. Do we want three archers? I mean, it's not too bad. Now we just want the Thessalians, and then we're all almost ready to recruit another army. Um, I would prefer to have two Thuriophoroi, but... Hmm... You can either go for some more Thessalians, more Athamanians, or more Phalangites. I think we'll go for three Athamanians, three archers. A bit more of a missile-based army, but that's okay. And I think you guys are also going to make your way across, because the other army's stuck garrisoning for now. So there. Can we get back? No, we can't, but we might as well move down somewhat. In fact, no, you guys come this way get to there and we'll get you in there next time glorious well that's one more army so let's make sure we are continuing to train we need more thessalians so let's go for the thessalians in all three of those in here let's go for some brachiotes Fenike is still training garrison troops that's fine pella let's go for some athamanians then glorious and let's get our army together up here this guy is 19 um, which one was going to be our general? Not you. You. So you are green, well-supplied, sharp, optimistic. 
He's satisfied. So there's not really any bad traits for morale or anything. So that's good. Right then, let's get the cavalry in first. So we're going to get the Pionian cavalry. There we go. Pionian cavalry in there. Let's then get our Agrianian infantry. Then we'll go for the Thuriophoroi. So that's the Agrianians. Let's go for Thuriophoroi. Then let's get as many of these boys in as we can. So we just need one more. And then we're nearly ready to recruit another Thracian army. So this is glorious. Another Thracian army on the way to the battlefield, my friends. Finally, we've managed to get it out. It's taken so long. <laughs> but finally, we've got it. So um, let's keep on going. You get there. So all our recruitment now is synced up, which is actually fantastic. We're going to have to put you down to low... Um, what do we want in here, then? We want more Romphi Foroi, I think. And then we're getting the Thracian nobles in there for our next Thracian army. Like I say, with these small siege battles, guys, we are not going to play them because at this point in the campaign, we don't need to. We can just auto-resolve them. Like, losing six men there, we probably would have lost more if we'd played that ourselves. <laughs> Let's um, enslave Bessapara because it was quite problematic before when we owned it. So, yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Let's uh, repair those. And let's build the shrine to Aphrodite. This army, we're probably going to also resolve this too. There might be a few more losses. 144. Not really too much to worry about. We'll also enslave here. How is it in terms of a recruitment hub? Because I do want to build another recruitment hub. So, I think we will... We will go for a recruitment hub in here. Again, we have no garrison troops. So this is getting a little bit annoying with the garrisons, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's quite it's quite annoying, really. Um, but yeah, you guys come across the Bessapara. And we are building a recruitment hub there, aren't we? Let's see if we can maybe build one there too. Just so we can get more garrison troops. Because it is getting quite annoying, like having to slow down without the garrisons. Um, I do want to keep on moving. So we will leave just a Thuriophoroi in here for now. Let's put that down to low. And it should be okay after next turn. We are going to go straight for Madlup, whatever the hell that name is. Uh, you guys, we will leave behind a Thuriophoroi too. You need retraining pretty much ASAP. But that's okay. Um, there we go. Glorious. Well, we have moved very much in the north. Chalkis now is ready to upgrade. And it makes 5,300 a turn. That is insane. Tegea also ready to upgrade. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. You guys have moved. You guys have moved. In the north, you've moved, you've moved, and you've moved. So what else do we have then? We've got you. Hmm. I think that's everyone. It's so hard to remember. But anyway, guys, I will do the building off camera so you don't need to watch it once again. And uh, hopefully we'll have a nice little battle soon. We might even do one of these siege battles um, if there's no big battles forthcoming. The annoying thing with the Adrissians is they're just splitting all their troops up. I want to fight them in big, you know, big formations, big armies. But no, they just want to send around like five men at a time for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why, but whatever. AI gonna AI, my friends. <laughs> and there go the Tribali. Probably killed by Pontic Pentapolis, to be honest. So yeah, Pontic Pentapolis is encroaching on what is rightfully our land. But uh, <laughs> what can you say, my friends? We've been besieged like pretty much everywhere by the Adrissians once again. But all by tiny little armies, as usual. The Seleucids have siege down Marineo, which is great because we want to take that as a defensive siege as well. Let's have a look at some of this, though. Diapolis was a little bit upset. Nysos is incredibly upset. Um, yeah, weren't you happy before, Nysos? Why are you so upset now? Well, why don't we build an arena here? It's very expensive, but it allows us to toggle the happiness, at least. Imbros, once again, just being an absolute dick. <laughs> Bloody Imbros. Hate Imbros. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. The commander who reads this scroll will be inspired by heroic deeds of his ancestors. For you, Minas. Oh, he's got loads of scrolls. Nice. That's pretty cool. 
But he is a governor, so the heroic deeds of governance will be heroic, of course. Right, Thracians? Oh, look at this. Like, look, do you know what I mean about the Adrissians? Like, why don't they just put that into a full stack? It will make them so much more powerful. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing. Um, anything of interest in here doesn't look like it. That's fine. Fenike is going with these guys. So let's get them moving. Um, Stoby is going with the Thracian Noble Cavalry. Glorious. So then, right. Where is that big army? We've got this army here. So let's... Uh, pop down there. Did we replenish, retrain those those ships? No. Well, these guys wouldn't be able to get across probably anyway. We've got our first battle against the Syracusans over there. We've got this over here, which I'm assuming if I do that... No, apparently they will not come in. I'll be quite interested to just fight this on the field, honestly. They've got a lot of missile cavern, a lot of missile men. Nossi and Hoplites are also pretty darn good, especially with two experience, but... um. I feel like we can still beat that. We don't have the biggest army left, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, right then. Leprion, you are still going with garrison troops. Same with Thermon. When we've got quite a few, we will send them across. That will be glorious. So, what do we want to do? Right, well, we'll auto-resolve this one because that's not going to be a problem. 150 men are lost. It's quite a lot, honestly. <laughs> I'm thinking we just get a mercenary in here as a garrison, like Thracian Hippocontistae. Fine. Let's go then. Let's leave the Hippocontistae behind. Let's pop out. How are they liking that? Um. Okay, there's a lot of temples in this place, so they should be happier than what they are, but it's okay. Destroy that. We're already on low. Uh, repair those temples. That should help us. Build the shrine to Dioscuri. I mean, we did own Philippopolis, so it shouldn't be too bad. Let's go here. Let's also just auto-resolve that one. And we will go back to Pella. We're aiming for these big battles, guys. We are going to use our Thracians for a battle, so don't worry. That will be very fun. Did he get some retinue? He did. Good. So we've reclaimed Philippopolis and uh, Bessapara, which is good for us. Let's have a look at this army, though, now. We need two more units. So, we've got missiles. So, ideally, we want two more phalangites, really. We've got one in there, so we'll just have to recruit another one. Should be fine. This battle will probably have to do... Um, yeah, probably. So, we're going to ignore that for now. Because I want them to attack us. We're going to ignore Marinea. Hmm. We're going to then uh, attack over here. So let's do this battle first. Don't know which one of these guys to attack, though. I think this one. <laughs> what is this mess? <laughs> Everyone's running away. <laughs> well, let's meet the Thracians with Thracians. That should be really fun. Um, the Light Lancers are going to be a bit of a problem because, like, the Romphi Fori are not good against cavalry. But we have our own Pionian cavalry, so we should be able to ward them off. But glorious, guys. The Thracians are finally on the battlefield. Uenus, a brand new commander. Let's see how he does. Exactly 2,000 troops as well, which is quite cool. Well, I thought they would be up on the hill. So uh, let's pop over there. The good thing about Thracian rosters, guys, is they are incredibly fast. <laughs> Watch how fast these guys run. Like, I know it doesn't look like much, but if you compare them to the... Look at the Thurioforoi going, and look at them. It is a significant difference <laughs> over a battle. So very nice indeed. They've got their secondary army coming in that way. But I don't care. The Thracians are going to get to work. Well, here we go, guys. We are ready to go. Looks like we're going to actually get attacked by their cavalry. So I am going to come back slightly. What is that? That is a light lancer. So it isn't coming to fire Javis at us. It is coming to charge. So, yeah. Let's see how the Romphi Fori do against the charge of the Thracian light cavalry. Should be pretty darn good. Let's uh, war cry them all as well. <laughs> so they all get pretty angry for the fight and ready to fight. I mean, the Thracian Light Lancers, yeah, we lost quite a few men in that, but that's fine. 
These guys are seeming to lose a lot of men, actually. It's probably from the javelins, so let's get up there a bit faster. And let's uh, bring our cavalry round to try and engage them. The Agrianians, let's get you over this way. Thurio 4 2 same with you boys. So here we go. Looks like they're charging with their general. That's going to be a little bit painful. But we should still be able to hold, especially if they get such a terrible charge off. There we go, guys. Right, let's uh, let's go. Stop fucking around, guys. Stop fucking around. Let's fucking go. Let's go. So here we come. We've got, what do we have? Thracian Light Lancers over there too. Let's see if we can have a go at these boys while we're here. Paeonian Cavalry is not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's about equal to the Zistaphoroi, right? Yeah, it's about equal to the Zistaphoroi, so it's not bad at all. Um, so, yeah, it should be a pretty easy little fight here for us. There we go. Absolutely ruin these boys. Get through them. Get through them. I believe that other Paeonians fast moving. No, but they are well armored and all that sort of thing, apparently. But I think that's a lie. Right, Agrianians, let's get up here. We do actually want you for this battle in a second. Thurio Foroi. I do want to use the Thurio Foroi against the enemy cavalry, but everyone's pretty fast, so it's okay. It's okay. Right, Cav. Let's get here. Let's get here. And uh, this army is pretty much all Cav. So that's going to be interesting. Come on, guys. Get in position. Otherwise, we're going to have a big gap in the line. <laughs> Here comes the two Thracian royal bodyguards. Kill them, please. <laughs> Should be nice and easy. Um, I don't think they've got too much cavalry to worry about. It's all light lancers. Their general's actually a light lancer as well. Right, guys. Let's uh, war cry you all. War cry. There we go. And they might even just charge by themselves because of the war cry. There we go. We're going to take a bit of a charge from these light lancers. But again, that was a terrible, terrible charge. So not going to be too much to worry about. Right, let's uh, get our cavalry around the sides. Glorious. Look at that. Fantastic. They should all be able to fire Javis now, which is great. Where is the Thurio Foroi? We've got one here. We've also got one there. Oh, my God. The Light Lancers, they did do. That was a pretty big job on us there. These, this, So this roster, for example, was built to counter the Thracians, but also this roster will demolish Greek rosters because of the armor of the Greeks. So this is more of a, an anti-Greek roster than an anti-Thracian one. So fighting the Thracians with this army is not, you know, as easy as it will be fighting the Greeks, if that makes sense. Because of their, you know, we didn't, we didn't build in Hippocontistae and stuff into this army. So, I mean, it's fine. It's not going to be a problem, but um, like we're still going to absolutely shred the Thracians. There we go. We can fight them. You guys fight. Oh, they're already, they're already routed. Glorious, guys. One more charge, and that should be a, a victory. Yeah. So this, this army is not going to beat the Thracians quite as well as the Greeks, but when we fight Greeks with this roster, or the Seleucids, for example... We are going to absolutely shred them. I would still rather fight this roster against the Thracians than a Phalangite roster because of how fast it is. Even if, you know, we lose a lot of men on the charges. But a glorious victory nonetheless, my friends. Well, great victory. Let's uh, keep on attacking these guys. Uh, can you attack there? Why can you not attack there? Apparently you can't attack anyone now. Well, that's weird. Uh, we'll probably just auto-resolve these because, they're you know, we fought that battle. Um... Where do we want to send you, though? I think north to that one. We'll take that one and uh, triple a little bloop. And that should be good. Got a captured flag, Uenus, which is fantastic. Let's have a look at him um, as a general, please. No, can we have a look at him? Can I have a look at him, please? There we go. <laughs> Let's have a look. Is his morale? He's got plus one morale, so he's not got negative morale, which is absolutely glorious. You guys are going back for retraining. You guys... Should we auto-resolve that? Yeah. It's pretty easy. Let's enslave here too. This is only a minor city. I thought this was actually bigger. But no, it's only a minor city. Um, right then, let's repair those buildings. And we could go straight onto Adrissa, their capital. Which would be quite fun. But I kind of want that as a buffer against the Seleucids. I want to funnel the Seleucids through this way. I don't want to give them an excuse to come north. 
So, yeah, let's have a look. Are there any mercenaries around here to garrison? No, there are none. So, let's leave the Thurio Foroy again. It's a bit unfortunate leaving troops behind that have, you know, a lot of good experience. Um, but once we've got the garrisons in there, we will come back for them. We're going to push them back. We will do that battle as well. So, Same has now grown. Okay, glorious. Let's cue that in. Uh, wealthy for Archilochus. Fantastic. We've also got that battle to do. We'll probably leave that for next time. So, this one here. Let's go. Um, hmm. Again, it's all Hippocontisti and stuff, which is a bit annoying. <laughs> let's an auto resolve. Only lost 60 men there. Um, like I say, these tiny battles, not really worth playing anymore, are they? Like... It's not fun for you guys to watch, and in fact, when you see it, like, uh, when you guys, um, when I look at the analytics, you guys don't watch these small battles, so there is no point in me playing them. Um, so we've left that, we've got a guy there, in fact, I think we'll just pop in there for a turn, just to keep them happy. So, who have we not left to move? So, you've moved... You two have moved. You're in the city defending. We Are we doing training still? We are. So that's all synced up. Glorious. Same with Fenike. Yep. Um, you guys are waiting for the ships who are getting retrained. Glorious. So I think we'll end a turn there, will we? I don't know. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's do our building first and we'll probably end the episode there. We're going to go from the bottom though this time. Make sure we're building in all these places that we have taken. Setarathos, we need to repair that. Let's build... Let's just build the roads so we can move around here a little bit quicker. Marinea, let's queue in the roads, but uh, it's under siege. I think we'll win the siege, though. Sir Dicker over here, again, would be good to have roads. So let's go for that. Apollonia, Eparos over this way. Let's go for those boys. Mantinea over here in the center. Let's go for the farming. Orchomenos, Arcadia. Let's also go for roads. Make sure that we've got good routes through everywhere. Bilis Nikea. One of the newer ones. Let's go for the sewers. Stratos over here. Definitely the port. Let's have a look at how much that'll bring. 187. It doesn't seem like that much, but um, it will add up in the long run. A lot of these places that we have taken, as you can see... Are just not that good, really. Let's get the wooden walls for some extra lore. Argathea can upgrade now, so let's uh, put that in. Delphoi over here. Let's go for the public baths. Karistos on the island does make a decent amount of cash. So how much will that Great Agora bring? 147. Doesn't seem a lot, but it will add up over time. What else do we have here then? Eritrea. Let's go for... For, um, I mean, we'll build the academy. Gets a bit of extra lore. Oreos over here, the that one. Um, Athens, which is a fantastic city. Let's go build the paved roads there. Making an absolute fortune in Athens now. Orchomenos is not a recruitment hub for us. That's fine. So let's build the paved roads there too. Hermione, let's build that. Corinth, again, a fantastic city. Let's build the Scriptorian for our general to get better. Philippoi, let's keep on going with the roads along here so we've got better speed along this way. Iginion, again, not really worth building anything. Sparta, hmm, yeah, Sparta, again, also not really worth building anything. Could get the arena. That would seem right for Sparta, wouldn't it? Elatea, do we want to go for Dionysus? Probably, so let's build that. That's fine. And then Scaptopara up in the north. Let's uh, make sure we are recruiting these guys in here. And then was it here as well? Yes. So we are recruiting um, sort of garrison troops here. Where else were we able to recruit garrison troops? We are building one there. So that's good. So that we can build more garrison troops. Um, yeah. And we are continuing with our Thracian armies. Right then. Um, where else were we building garrison troops? Like Leprion and stuff? Did we get a, a, an archer here? No. Yeah, we sent them on the way, didn't we? We sent them over this way so they can garrison one of these cities. Glorious. Is that a Prodromoi? 
Yeah, that was a garrison. Can we leave Cesarathos now then? Not quite. In fact, let's get some happiness. Okay, there's nothing that builds happiness. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Well, I think we're going to end it there, guys. So, uh, yeah, a nice little episode again. And, yeah, we've done plenty. We've expanded into the north quite a bit. Like, we've taken Nysos back. We've taken Idava. We've taken Serdica. We've taken these two. We've also taken um, Diopolis, which is a large city, which is glorious. So, yeah, and we're also expanding well on Nosos, and we have finally invaded Italy. Glorious, guys. Fantastic. Let's end the turn, uh, end the episode there, and I'll see you all again on the next video.